want to welcome you to our Thursday devotion. Uh, feel at the feet of Jesus that uh, we can continue to learn uh, from him as we seek him that uh, he may lead us and guide us uh, in ways of, uh, of righteousness that we may be uh, effective in every areas of our work and the jurisdiction that has been put in our place. Our God and our Father, we receive this very day with a thankful heart. We appreciate this far that you have brought us and we thank you. Even as we praise your holy name, we adore you. We lift your name on high, our God, because you are truly we know that you are our Father. You are the one who is very true to his word that will never leave us nor forsake us. Here we are to thank you because you have never forsaken us. We pray that, Father, even as we share your word today, be with us and bless us through your word in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, being Thursday, I want to just uh, bring to us on uh, the, the issue of perseverance. Perseverance. I don't know when the word perseverance is mentioned, what comes uh, into your mind. I don't know what clearly is uh, stipulated uh, when, when you, you think of uh, perseverance. In one way or the other, we might have persevered. In one way or the other, uh, we must have been uh, uh, persevering. I don't know if, even if now you are still uh, persevering. But I want to, to bring to us the issue of perseverance today and uh, allow me, by the mercies of God, even to bring to you that uh, uh, perseverance, uh, to some extent, you know, you cannot uh, move along, you cannot uh, live in this life uh, in phases and uh, you fail to get a moment whereby even you need to, be, to persevere in a, a certain situation or whatever you might be finding yourself uh, in this life. But uh, maybe to, to me, I bring for you a definition that uh, we can try to, to get what uh, perseverance uh, means. Uh, perseverance, uh, basically, allow me to try and bring it to, to a just a simple introduction, is the, is, the, is the persistence in doing something despite difficulties, or it is a delay in achieving success. Persistence in doing something despite difficulties or delay in achieving success. That one is a direct definition of what perseverance is. We have the element of the issue of persistently. Persistently. There is something that you are doing persistent, persistently, and as uh, you are doing it, you are, you are experiencing uh, difficulties in getting success, or you are uh, uh, experiencing delay in achieving uh, uh, success. You know, one thing with perseverance, as I've, uh, you've heard from that definition, is that uh, at the end of it, there is success. You are not <laughs> persevering for no good reason. You are not persevering uh, while you are not expecting any reward. You are not persevering because there is nothing that will uh, come at the end of it. You have heard that uh, the common statement that uh, we, normally, uh, we, mom, we normally hear people say that uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel. That is a clear definition of what perseverance is. I want you to get this even from that definition, that if you might be, uh, per, you might be persistently, you might, you might be doing something, and at the end of it, there is nothing, there is no success, or there is nothing that you are expecting in return. My friend, that is not perseverance. And you, are, you, you need not even uh, to cause yourself even to be thinking of continuing, say that I'm persevering. I'm, but no, there, there is no perseverance. Biblically speaking, we can say that uh, it is a faithful endurance of trials and hardship. Faithful endurance of trials and hardship. Why is it that uh, today I've chosen to bring the issue of perseverance to us? It is because I have noted uh, with a lot of concern even through prayers and about how God is speaking to us 
to some, to some extent, we might be going through hardship. To some extent, you might, we might be going through trials. And we are saying that we are persevere. I don't know if that one is clear to us. That uh, we are going through things, we are going through issues, we are uh, uh, going uh, through challenging moments, and we are saying that we are persevering. Get it well, even from the biblical uh, aspect of it, is a faithful endurance and trials of hardship, faithful endurance. You know what? The word faithful, when, when it comes there, it tries to bring to us that uh, even in that perseverance that we are, we need to be faithful. Do you know of people who go through trials and hardship and it takes them away from the Lord? That uh, you have gone through issues, you have gone through situations, and uh, now you say that uh, now uh, I don't see the need for me even, even to continue uh, being faithful to God. Why? Because it, you, you, you have gone through a lot to an extent that you feel you are alone in it. You feel that you are alone in this battle. Like, here I am as a servant of God to submit to you that you are not alone in everything that you are going through. God is calling you to persevere. God is calling you as he reminds you today that there is light at the end of the tunnel. There is success. There is something that is awaiting for you. Think of the disciples of Christ. They persevered. Think of how our church father persevered. Yes, at the end of it, some died. Some, uh, at the end of the day, uh, they, were, uh, they, were that, uh, they were scattered. But do you know what came out of it? A success. Do you know what came out of it? Now I can preach to you. Now I can preach to you with peace. Now I can, that we can be very free to listen and to hear the word of God. Let me just bring to you this verse in James chapter 1, verse 12, just a single verse. This is what the Bible says that because, not because, it says that blessed is the man who perseveres under trial. Because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. Have it in mind, I don't want to lose you anywhere as we continue, as we journey together through. I just want to, you to have it in your mind that uh, we are still trying to do the summary of uh, the issue of growth, the yearning of spiritual growth, growing spiritual, spiritual uh, in our spiritual life. Do you know, if you persevere or if you learn to persevere, that shows you have grown. That shows that uh, yeah, uh, you, uh, you cannot compromise your faith. That shows that uh, whether even death is uh, knocking at your door, you will persevere. You say that I know the one who calls me is faithful. I know that uh, God is, with, is together with me in this thing that I'm going to do now. In the verse that I've read, I just want to break it down to, uh, a little bit for you that you can uh, get it well. Why? Because probably maybe you have persevered for a long time and you feel, now I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm about to give up. Maybe you've been going a certain kind of trials. I don't know whom I'm speaking to today. And as I started, I said that uh, in this uh, life that God has enabled us to see because I trust that uh, if today God has enabled you even uh, to have a moment of getting this message, uh, God has given you life. This life that God has given us, uh, we have maybe or probably persevered in one way or the other. But today, even as the word comes to us and we continue to be thinking of growth, or as we continue to see God even to make it open uh, to us, the issue of growth is just bringing, or the, the, the writer of James is making it very clear even in his opening verses, uh, uh, opening verses uh, of chapter, uh, uh, chapter 1, uh, chapter 1, verse, uh, verse 12, that uh, blessed is the man who perseveres under trials. Do you know why it starts by blessed is the man who perseveres? Because, uh, as I mentioned also, of, of course, with the introduction, that is something that uh, you are expecting results. 
is something that you are expecting a feedback, is something that you are expecting a success, that you cannot just persevere for no reason. You cannot just go through a trials just for the sake of going through a trial. Just imagine. Let me pause a, bit, a little bit and try to have it in our mind and to jog around with our, our brain and think of a time whereby we go through trials and there is nothing we can gain out of it. Thinking of even our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he persevered. You know, everything, even as the Bible says, we should imitate Christ. He persevered, he went through trials. Uh, he went through all what he went through the, 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 uh, the, uh, on his way to the cross, even finally to, uh, to get the money where uh, he, uh, he died for our sin. He persevered. Why? Because of the crown which was ahead, the success, because of what uh, uh, the Father promised him. So we persevere because uh, we are blessed when we persevere why? because of what is awaiting for us. Because he said that when we stood the test, uh, that test that you are going through, that trial, that challenge, that difficulty, that situation, I know that uh, this week, uh, our children resume back to school after their meditation. Maybe you are wondering, I've, I've, I've borrowed loan, I've, I've borrowed from friends, I don't know, I just want my child to go back to school and those kind of things. Maybe you have persevered with the sicknesses and diseases, you have persevered through the upbringing of your children and all those kind of things. Every area, I want you to have it broader, have it in your broader perspective on how in one or the other you have persevered, as the scriptures say, because when you have stood that test, God himself, you, uh, he will, God will make you to receive a crown of life that God has promised. He will make you, and he's very categorical speaking, that he, God has promised for, to those who love him. So a uh, key thing is the love, uh, the love of God. And I remember last week, even as the vicar was very careful to continue sharing to us about the love of God about loving right, about how love is very, very, very powerful. So I submit to you today that uh, may God cause you to, to, to persevere in whatever you might be going through. I don't know what kind of situation you are facing today. I don't know uh, the kind of challenge you are going through, but as you persevere, as you in the midst and your perseverance, you, you have Christ in your heart, you have faith, you believe in God. All the time you pray, every time you seek God, every time you read the word of God, because that is a turnaround of everything, that when we pray, when we read the Bible, when we even join together in those congregational uh, uh, prayers or those uh, uh, community of brethren, when we, we pray together, as we, as we grow, God will cause us to persevere and even to be crowned, uh, that crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your word. I don't know what your servant is going through today, but you've reminded us in this life we cannot miss the point whereby we can find ourselves in trying moments. Give us the grace to persevere. Give us the grace to make it all and to know that at the end of it, there is a crown of life that is awaited us. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you may remember us and your, your word may find a place in our hearts. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.